diverse temptation. In other words, when you're going through hell, count it all, Joe. Uh, when you're broke, then a mosquito tweeter, count it all, Joe. When folk walk out of your life for no reason at all, count it all, Joe. When folk try to pull the rug from under you, count it all, Joe. When your back hurt and you don't feel like getting up, count it all, Joe. You got to learn to celebrate God and react the right way when hardships come your way. You still ain't getting it. Let me give you another point in another scripture. Maybe my back broke and shout Luke chapter 6, verse 22. It's on the screen. Blessed are you. When men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company. Amen. Let me let that sink in again. Can I say that again? Blessed are you when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company. Blessed are you. And shall reproach you, cast out your name as evil, for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice in that day. Come on, y'all. You ain't got time to be walking with your head down. The Bible says rejoice in that day and leap for some joy. You're able to look up even though you can't get up. Because if you look up long enough, I wish I had somebody to get that. And if you look up long enough, glory to God, you're going to get up from there. You're going to make up in your mind, I'm not going to stay where I am. You're going to look at yourself and say, I'm better than this. God's been too good for me to stay here and die. Why you sit here and die? You got to get up from there and bust a move. But you got to understand, first of all, you got to be full of the Holy Spirit. Just say this, can I just test the waters? Everything that's happening in your life, if God allowed it, is the will of God for your life. Y'all not saying nothing. See how quiet y'all are. Because God is so sovereign, he can do what he wants to do when he wants to do it. Ain't got the answer to nobody because he's God. If he wants to remove it when he wants to remove it, he can remove it when he wants to remove it. If it's still there, God's trying to teach you something in it. Oh, did y'all get that there? That was enough right there to pack it up and set it at a storm. That's a good place to be when you run out of everything that you know how to do. When you can't help yourself no more, that's a good place for God. And sometimes he sit back and allow you to mess up everything. So he can step in as your deliverer because he just want to get some worship out of you. He just wants you to raise your hand. Come on. He just wants you to lift up your voice. He just wants you to open up your heart. So he'll let the devil mess with you. He'll let your friends mess with you. He'll make your relatives mess with you. He'll make your job mess with you. He'll make your health mess with you. Just to get you to a place just to get some worship out of you. God wants the glory. He wants you to worship him. Not in a building, but he wants you to give him glory. Don't you look, let go too early. God, I'm just stay, be steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. God will move on your behalf. I'm a witness. I'm a believer. I can testify that God always bring you out right in the nick of time. Do I got anybody else in here can testify? You thought it was over. You thought it was done. You thought you had it all together, but sometimes somebody pulled something from you. But didn't God work it out for you? Come on, don't fool me now. Somebody needs your testimony. Somebody needs to see your hand that he can do it. Somebody going through some stuff can't tell you about it, but they need to see a witness.